Hi everyone, my name is Bryce, also known as The Coastal City, and in this video I am here to talk about one particular character in my favourite series that got me into the horror genre, and that is Leon S. Kennedy. And with the Resident Evil 4 remake coming out this Friday, I am deep diving into the history of Leon. Leon Scott Kennedy, yes, that's what the S stands for, is one of the many characters seen in the Resident Evil franchise created by Capcom. He's often the main focus in several games, movies, TV shows, and various other media under the Resident Evil title. So, who is Leon? Well, Leon is a former police officer in Resident Evil 2, which released in 1998. In this game, he starts off as a rookie cop who arrives in zombie-infested Raccoon City on his first day. Alongside fellow survivor Claire Redfield, Leon battles his way through the Raccoon City police station and city. He uncovers a conspiracy involving a powerful pharmaceutical company, the Umbrella Corporation, that has been experimenting with bioweapons. Leon later returns in the first version of Resident Evil 4, released in 2005. And in this game, he is a special agent working for the United States government and is tasked in rescuing the president's daughter from a cult in a European village. We'll keep the rest of this game a little bit of a secret. Leon has also appeared in several Resident Evil games, including Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D, and Resident Evil 6. In addition to his appearances in video games, films, novels, and comics, he's often considered as one of Resident Evil's most iconic protagonists and fan favorites because of his bravery, resourcefulness, and dry sense of humor. And perhaps his looks as well. Well, there you have it. That is a deep dive into the history of Resident Evil's character, Leon S. Kennedy. Are you excited for the Resident Evil 4 remake? I cannot wait. And I would love to hear your thoughts about the series, Leon S. Kennedy, and the remake in the comments below. I'll see you next time.